Lux. You're familiar with all the numbers on Matt Hughes. Rick's 23 years, the junior to the reigning champ. And without the reach, but with a little bit of size. I don't know, with, with guys like this, you, you tend to throw all the numbers right out the window. When the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Big John McCarthy. All right, gentlemen, you got your instructions in your dressing room. Do I have any questions from Joe? Any questions from Matt? Touch gloves, get back to corner, fight clean, fight hard, fight fair. Let's go. I mean, there. this is every bit as emotional and energetic as it was if the title was hanging in the balance. The only thing that's going to suck is if this goes to three rounds and it's close. And they go to a decision and go, man, what would have been it like for the fourth and fifth? Boy, certainly no lack of enthusiasm right, in the stands. You're right. You're right. Matt Hughes, as per off. usual, gets a huge ovation. It's a three-rounder, as Joe points out. And we are underway. Joe Riggs stands in the southpaw position. Like we said, this guy has excellent strikes. Good right hook inside by Joe. Knee and avoids the takedown. The longer he can keep this fight on the feet, the better it is for Joe Riggs. He is enormous for 170 pounds. I mean, George St. Pierre is big at 170 pounds, but Joe Diesel is even bigger than him. Boy, this is a guy who, as you mentioned, Joe, fought at 300 pounds previously. First person to stop Chris Lytle. Came in his last fight, UFC 55. Head kick by Matt Hughes. Not afraid to stand. Riggs returns with a head kick. It was blocked away nicely by the champ. And there is another question. The question is, how much did losing all that water weight take out Joe Riggs? Big body kick by Matt Hughes, and he backs away. But it sounded bad. Got to hold the leg. And the quick strike by the champ. Back. Nice takedown by Matt Hughes. He's in Joe Riggs' butterfly guard. Switches it to half guard. See what Joe Riggs has off his back. Gotta work, come on. Matt looks like he's pressing and looking to pass. Oh, big swing and a miss by Hughes. He is such a dominant wrestler. It's going to be hard for Joe Riggs to get out of this position. And Matt Hughes loves to feed people elbows from here. Look for that right elbow to start crashing down as soon as he can get an opening. Remember, in Hughes' last UFC fight, UFC 52, back in April, he had to come back against Frank Trigg, who had him in trouble early. He was going for a Kimura there. But he is caught in Joe Riggs' half guard. He's going to try to have to have to try to escape his left leg from in between Joe's two legs. That's what's uh, helping Joe defensively control Matt's body. Matt's holding on to Joe's arm. It's hard to tell from this angle, but it looks like he's working a Kimura. He's got his hands locked up. This is not good for Joe Riggs. Joe is in deep trouble here. He can finish this even though he's in Joe's half guard. He can still finish this. He's got a lot of pressure on Joe's elbow here. Joe's hanging in there, but this is a bad Come spot on, for him. Out, now Matt's bringing it behind his back. That's even worse. And a tap this out. is bad. You can finish that in the half guard. That's exactly what he did. The legend of Matt Hughes grows. Let's take a look at that again. That was uh, very impressive. Matt Hughes, just once he got him on his back, just completely dominant. Let's look at the replay here. He locks in that Kimura and bends it backwards. 
very painful submission. Joe Riggs forced to tap. So the champ, in impressive fashion, has defeated Joe Riggs. It was on the first strike that he put Riggs on his back and then was able to manipulate the arm and elbow, finally get a tap out. He'd have kept the belt anyway. But a big win nonetheless for Matt Hughes. And for the official word, we send it back to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Big John McCarthy is called to stop to this contest at 3 minutes 28 seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by tap out, due to a Kimura, Matt Hughes! Matt Hughes with an impressive victory after the controversy yesterday with Hughes not making, with rather Riggs not making weight. Hughes with a big win tonight. He's standing by with Joe Rogan. Congratulations, Matt. Does this disappoint you at all that this wasn't a title bout? No, no, it, it doesn't. Um, sure, I would like to keep my de defenses running and this and that, but uh, at the end of the day, it's me and another guy in this octagon, and, and um, here it happened tonight. Now, you went through a lot of hiccups in preparation for this fight. First, Carl Parisian pulled out, then Joe Riggs comes in, and then Joe Riggs came and couldn't make the weight. How, how much did that affect you? Did it at all? No, I, I, I cleared that from my mind, like I said before. The only thing I keep thinking is I'm going to go out and win a new title. I'm not out defending. And number two, hey, it's me and another guy in this octagon. Does it matter who it is? No. All right, let's take a look at the big screen and talk us through the, the finish. Talk us through the submission. Well, it's a, it's a far side camera, and I love it. It's kind of my bread and butter. So I knew when I, when I had it locked up that uh, I could take his arm and, and kind of get, the, get his power away from him. And you get that all the time, even in half guard? Yes, that's my, like I said, it's my favorite. Let's take a look at it one more time. Yeah, I think he did give it kind of a, kind of a scream out, so I knew he was somewhat hurt, but um, that's, that's the way it goes. Now, with the recent... Uh, return of BJ Penn into this division and the fantastic performance of George St. Pierre. Give us your thoughts on the challenges for your title. Well, uh, you know, uh, before BJ was here, uh, there, there's guys all over that can challenge me. I mean, the, the UFC has the, the most depth in the welterweight division that I can even think. I mean, there's no other, there's no other, other organization that has the depth in the welterweight division the UFC has. So there's guys all over that can, that can challenge me. But you are the champion, and congratulations on another excellent victory tonight. Matt Hughes, ladies and gentlemen.